You know, I feel like we're, we're in pretty good condition. Um, you know, obviously, when you have that type of that type of cramping, you know, mass cramping across your team, um, you know, it may mean something. It may mean we just need to, you know, look at our salt intake or, or you know, just preparing in that way, not so much, you know, conditioning. Um, you know, there's a lot there's a lot to go into cramping, not just running. And you know, we run we run every week, so um, you know, I feel like we're we're in good condition. It's just a matter of um, making sure everyone's taking the right steps getting ready um, late in the week for the game, um, taking in the right amount of electrolytes and salt. Brian, was it a problem with the offense, though? Because I know the defense was on the field so much in the third and fourth quarter. I mean, was the offense uh, Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think the offense um, was suffering any other problems the defense had. You know, I think maybe a couple guys, but the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Kendrick on that one play. Um, but, but other than that, I think uh, just the time the defense was out there, you know, being on the field so much, um, really put them in that situation. Was Kendrick on the, on the catch and fumble? Was that work? Um, no, it was, uh, I think it was before that actually. It was like a third and three. Um, he was going over the middle. Um, it went off his fingertips, but uh, that's the one time. Ryan, how exciting is this game against Arkansas? The neutral side game, two really good teams going at it in, in that environment. Oh, it's exciting. You know, anytime you get to play up in Dallas, um, it's a good atmosphere. Um, we have we have great fans that, that travel up there for us and and really make it like a home game for us. So um, it's exciting anytime you get to play up there. And, and Arkansas is a good team. Um, you know they're a ranked team, and um, we're looking to rebound from last week. You know we know we didn't finish um, like we needed to in the second half, and we're excited to get on that field and, and, and show we can finish. Ryan, you're playing a I don't know if it's ironic or not, but they're officially into the SEC next year. You're playing an SEC school this week. I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, let's see how the Aggies stack up now. Any thoughts on that at all? Uh, not really. You know, Arkansas is on our schedule if we were going to stay in the Big 12. So, um, you know, it, it's just a game. It's not SEC. It doesn't really matter what conference you're in. You know, it's, it's a game. Once you're on the field, <coughs> it's like any other game in the nation. You know, um, whatever conference tag you have on have on your team, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know that's that's what t uh, good teams can do. Is you know we suffered some adversity and, and a bad situation last week. You know we didn't want that to happen, but um, I think our resiliency will, will kick in this week and, and we'll have a good week of practice and, and be ready to go Saturday. You know, um, you know I think if, if we had an off week, maybe this week it, it might have been tough to, to linger on that that loss a little bit, but. Um, you know, when you're going into another game, you put it behind you. Um, you learn from your mistakes and move forward. Good thing you all play in such a, another high-profile game like this, so you kind of have to put it behind you as quick as you do. Yeah, I think that helps out a lot. I mean, uh, we know that you know we gotta we gotta prepare really well to beat these guys. Uh, uh, they're, they're a great team. Uh, they got a great offensive scheme. Got great playmakers at the receiver position. And a pretty good quarterback. So uh, you know, you know, we gotta prepare well. After a tough loss like this, how important is it for the seniors to step up and provide that key leadership and make sure that this doesn't stay going on? Oh, yeah, that's, that's key. You know, uh, last week is done. We can't do anything about that. And that's what we got to, you know, we got to tell our guys we got to rally the troops, uh, you know, work on the things that we need to work on, uh, make sure the things that happened last week don't happen this week. Tell me the big guy is in the Did you tell me you cramped that? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't cramp at all. Uh, I played 69 snaps, and uh, I didn't. I didn't cramp. Uh, I, I guess I hydrated well. Tell, tell, what's the best way to hydrate? I've heard it's like drink something every night until you feel the bathroom all the time. Then while you're sleeping. I, mean, I just drink until my pee is clear. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and you don't drink any sodas or anything like that. Oh no. So why do you think some of the other guys were having cramping problems? Uh. We played a lot of snaps on defense, and uh, it was it was it was pretty hot out. Uh, it was kind of humid, so you know when you when you're doing all that, plus the adrenaline and um, the excitement, uh, you know that that just calls for cramps. Not saying that those guys didn't hydrate well or anything like that, but you know some guys get really amped up and then you know playing fast and, and, and physical, you know. Uh, Sometimes it's just kids come out. Tony, when that game gets going that fast, oh, you did it last year on the state Saturday. As a as a 300 pound D lineman, 
in any way, is it easier just to stay out there and, and rest between plays rather than running on, sprinting on and off the field like y'all have to do? Uh, yeah, we try to. So we try to play as many plays as we can, and then when they substitute, you know, that, that allows us time to substitute so we won't have to run back and forth, you know. So if it's, if it's 13 snaps before they substitute, then, you, I mean, you just got to play 13 snaps because uh, that's where you get the penalties, the 12, 12 men and, and the huddle. Uh, you know, we try to run back and forth, and they catch us running back and forth. Tony, talk a little bit about, you know, the need to bounce back this week, not let that loss fester. You know, a year ago you had the Okie State loss. You followed up with a couple more. What about this team do you feel like will prevent that loss from festering and allow you to bounce back this week? Um, just the great, we got great leadership on both sides of the ball. And uh, we just, we just, a, a, we just a unit, you know, offense, defense, special teams. We all are one big family. And, and not saying that we weren't last year, but even more so this year. Um, we, we just know. I mean, we know what's at stake, and we know that we can't we can't let last week affect uh, this week in Dallas.